Okay, so we practiced combining like terms, and now we need to take a look at how do we move things back and forth across the equal sign. The biggest thing is we have to move things using opposite operations. So what I mean by that is if we have a 2x and we want to move it, we need to use a negative 2x, all right, to move it, a minus 2x. If we had a minus 4 and we want to move it, we move it by adding 4. So we have to be very, th we have to think about this. We can't just kind of robotically start doing things because what that leads to is then mixing up when we're supposed to add and when we're supposed to subtract, and we don't want to do that. All right. Now, these are not algebra steps. These are my steps. All right. This is how I solve equations. I take a look at the equation. I distribute anything if there's anything to distribute. Okay. After that, I combine like terms. Again, if there's anything to combine. All right, a lot of your geometry equations are not going to have anything to distribute or anything to combine. This one is the one that I think will help a lot of you that are having issues about what do I move where. Move the smallest x value first. All right, the reason I do that is because it keeps things positive, keeps things positive most of the time, okay, if not all the time. And it also tells you what number to move because the next thing you're going to do is move the number on the same side as the x to the opposite side. You want at the end of your situation here to have some sort of x on one side of the equals and some sort of number on the other side of the equals. They could be flipped around. You cannot move everything to the same side. So I'm going to put down do not move everything. Let me actually spell everything correctly here. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Do not move everything to the same side. Okay, that is a disaster. The equals disappears and then bad things happen. All right, the last thing you should do is divide. All right, and then above all, when you're doing geometry equations, we rarely if ever get a negative and we rarely if ever get any decimals other than something 0.5. All right, so if you get negatives, if you get random decimals, something probably happened. You should not erase it, but you should go back and take a look at your work and see if you can spot a thing that maybe you didn't use the right opposite operation. Maybe you didn't combine like terms correctly. Maybe you did something really simple, like changed a sign. All right. I make mistakes like that all the time. You're going to make them too. We want to try to catch them on our own whenever we can.